Talked about this in a video the other day. Snow White probably going to get delayed. For some reason, people are saying that that means it's canceled. That's not what's happening with the movie. The movie is not going to be canceled. There's no way they'll cancel this movie. They would get too much flack from the audience that they desperately want to come in over everybody else that they already had if they were to do that. So that's not going to happen. Is it going to get delayed? Yes. Until when? I don't know. But it's not canceled. There's no way they'll cancel it. They're still moving forward with Star Wars Acolyte. Do you think they're going to cancel this? No. So a lot of people just do not like Rachel Zegler, which is why people are like, yeah, they, they probably are going to cancel it. No. <laughs> they, they think that if they tell you you are a sexist for not liking her that you'll come around and go see the movie. Disney will be the last studio to stop trying that tactic. Everybody else will stop it. Disney will be the last ones to do it uh, every time. They're always the last ones to any kind of change. So don't expect any change from Disney for a long time, really. Uh, you might get some wins here and there with them, but they will be the last even to move on from the woke trend stuff. They'll be the last to do it. Uh, so Ziggler has been getting a lot of attention, a lot of backlash, and she's sending a little bit of a message today, or yesterday anyway. Uh, this is from John Ford over on Twitter or X or whatever we're supposed to call it now. Uh, today, hashtag Rachel Ziggler stepped out in her million-dollar apartment in New York she can't make any statements due to the strike. However, she wanted to send a message for all of the backlash over her Snow White comments. Her shirt says, no tears left to cry. And they're upside down, by the way. Uh, this is the shirt. Yeah. Everything is set to send. Everything is everything with Hollywood people is to send some kind of message. She can't do that right now. So she's sending this out. Uh, no tears left to cry. I don't find that to be a coincidence. She's putting that shirt on for a reason. She wants to take that victim narrative, and it's not going to work. In fact, you would think after her putting that shirt on, there would be a bunch of articles defending her saying, leave Rachel Ziegler alone. Well, that's not happening. Nobody, in fact, is coming out to defend her. This is the one time, the one time we've had, like, an extreme girl boss get criticism that the media hasn't come out and just totally ran around defending them, calling everybody hateful and stuff. We had a couple people do it, but for the most part, she's being largely ignored. And I, I find that to be very telling, as I've said before. I think everybody finds her to be annoying and offensive because she's, she's said things that have managed to make everybody irritated. De she desperately needs the right PR. She needs to have some kind of management on her to sh so she learns how to not make all of Disney's customers go away. Uh, constantly blaming men, sharing these, uh, these tweets where she's talking about how frustrated she is with men, though she's doing it through this Lady Gaga fan account. She's not very subtle. She is constantly attacking and trashing Disney's old stuff, and uh, people are tired of it. But, yeah, she's got no more tears left to cry, apparently, as she goes for a little stroll outside of her million-dollar New York apartment. <laughs> anyway, Disney not having a good week. Uh, this stuff keeps going with Rachel, and then Star Wars. Ooh, go watch that video I put out this morning. What a troubled franchise that is. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and my Locals, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. 
If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.